With many of the long-acting injectable antipsychotics, you have to supplement them for three weeks with oral medication. And so what we did was we actually looked at a way that did not require the same oral supplementation, but where you could initiate subjects on the medication in one day. So rather than having to worry about a patient who's in an acute episode of psychosis needing to take oral medication after you've given them a long-acting injectable, instead we can do everything in the one day. Awesome. So we, we start subjects with uh, aripiprazole liroxyl, which is Aristata, um, as well as we give them one 30 milligram tablet of aripiprazole and then also give them a faster dissolving version of aripiprazole so that essentially we get them to blood levels within uh, a day or two rather than needing to wait for that three weeks for the patient to get to the appropriate level. So aripiprazole is a medication that's been around for a while. It's, it's actually, I think we started doing studies with it in the 1990s. So it's, it's not a new mechanism of action for the drug itself, but what they've done is they've come up with uh, a nanocrystal delivery system, um, which sounds really um, exotic or, or kind of sci-fi, but, but it's really not. I mean, it really has to do with the, the size of the molecule. And because of this nanocrystal uh, dissolution, the molecule actually, or the medication actually dissolves in the body a little bit faster. Uh, and that's how we're able to get those blood levels very quickly. I, I mean, I think that what we did is exciting because it gives you comfort in knowing that your subject is getting the medication that they need prior to them leaving the hospital or if they're in the clinic and you're concerned about them uh, maybe not taking their medication or being compliant, this is a way that you can actually get the medication into their system very quickly. So there wasn't anything that we weren't expecting to find, but that's actually a good thing in this particular trial because the way that this came about was the PK scientists uh, at Alkermes, you know, they, they have these modeling that, and it's becoming much more common to do this computer modeling and come up with what they expect the ranges to be when we give the medications. And I think what's really exciting is this was exactly where they expected it to be. So the, the computer models actually worked out with what we saw in the the clinic which is really good so I think that's another way of moving medicine forward is we're seeing more and more of those kind of computer models and when they bear out it shows that, that uh, it really works.